This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons should attempt this installation. Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com and today I'd like to show you how to install a combination switch and receptacle. See this part's the switch and this part's the receptacle. And let me show you first the device itself and the terminals. Okay, these are the hot terminals. The black terminals, they're called the common terminals and they're connected together with a brass tab right here. If I was to break this brass tab, then this would be a separate hot terminal from this. With the tab in place, it doesn't matter which black terminal you attach your hot wire to because it's gonna heat up both sides, both the switch and the receptacle. So I'll just be attaching a hot wire to this one black terminal and it will provide uh, electrical energy to both the receptacle and the switch. Now, on the other side, see we have a silver terminal right here and it aligns with this long slot right here, which is the neutral side of the receptacle. So you got silver terminal, neutral side of receptacle. This is where the neutral goes. See, the switch does not need a neutral. So you see here, uh, it has a brass terminal. Uh, this, is, this is for the outgoing uh, electrical energy that goes to the light. So this is called the load. This is the load terminal. Uh, this right here would be the line terminal where the energy comes in. The black one is called the common. And this brass one right here, the terminal, is called the, the load. It goes to the light, that's your load. And of course you have your ground terminal right here where the ground wire goes. I've added a grounding pigtail to the box. So it attaches right back here and its function is to bond this box to the grounding system of the house. You see this box is aluminum and will conduct electricity so it must be bonded. Now I'm going to turn the electricity on so that I can make a test. This is my voltage sensor, and before you use one of these voltage sensors, you always need to test it on a known uh, live electrical circuit. And once you know it's working properly, then we're going to test the various lines here. You see, this one has an audible alarm and a red light that goes off. So this is the hot wire right here. So this cable coming in is your line cable and so so this this wire this hot wire will go to the common it's one of these black screws i needed to do this test to find out which cable is the line cable and which cable is the load cable so this is the load cable these three wires right here and this is the line cable now I'm going to turn the electricity back off. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the grounds together. So we have three ground wires coming out and this is a Wago lever nut. This is a, a five connector type of Wago lever nut. And I've put two of the ground wires in there. Uh, this is the one going to the light. So that comes from the load cable. Okay, you just put it in and click it down and then I have one more this one will be a pigtail that will go to the device itself I've prepared that beforehand and I just put it right in click it down and that you can check you see watch this you can look at the backs and you can see that they're all the way in and they're connected down real well with the Wago lever nuts now you push this into the back of the box my friend and master electrician Warren Tarbell invented this tool right here. It's, he calls it the Volt Claw. And you can use it to push the wires back into the back of the box. Now I'm going to prepare the neutral wires. And I'm using a three connector Wago lever nut. And there's the one that comes from the line cable. And this is the one that goes from the load cable. Just push it in, click it down. And then I've prepared one pigtail, a neutral pigtail, that will go to the device. 
push the neutrals into the back of the box. So the first thing I'll do is put the ground wire around the green terminal in a clockwise manner, crimp it, and tighten it down securely. The next thing I'm going to do is put the neutral around the silver terminal in a clockwise manner, crimp it, and tighten it down securely. Now, this is the line wire. Remember we tested this one, it's a line wire. So it's going to go to the common terminal. Either one of these common terminals, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna tighten this up. I crimped it before I, I'm tightening it up. Okay, and that down real securely. So we got the line wire going to the black common terminal. This is the load wire. This is the one that goes to the light. So this was the line wire, this is the load wire. So it's going to go to the bronze terminal that goes with the switch. So I've got that around the, ter the terminal, the bronze terminal in a clockwise manner. Now I'm going to tighten it down securely. All right, so we've got, let me show you. I'll go over this again. We've got the green wire going to the ground screw. We've got the line wire that we tested going to the common screw. We've got the neutral going to the silver screw and we've got the load wire, the black load wire going to the bronze screw. Now, since there's quite a few wires in here, I'm going to use an extension. Uh, this is a special weatherproof extension and you just flip it over the receptacle. So these long screws go through the receptacle, through the extension, and then into the standard box. Now that I've got the extension piece tightened on here the way I want it with the device in it and tightened down, I'm going to put the weatherproof cover over it. See, it's got a seal there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up these screws a little bit. And slide it over into the place like that. Okay, get these nice and tightened up. Okay, so there we got a weatherproof box. Let's turn the circuit breaker back on and test it out. This is my ideal transmitter for the ideal uh, circuit breaker finder. Uh, this is the receiver here and this is the transmitter. The transmitter also uh, doubles as a really good outlet tester. So here we have uh, two green lights, which means it's wired correctly. Now I'll turn the circuit breaker back on. Now we're going to turn the light on. Now we'll test the light. Here we're going to turn it off, on, off, on. Okay, so the light switch works great the light works great the receptacle works great and the receptacle cover works great it says right here qualified for extra duty by code you need a ul listed extra duty cover so this this is made by seal proof and it is a ul listed extra duty cover i'll put links in my video description for the fluke 1AC voltage detector, Wago lever nuts in the 2, 3, and 5 connector sizes, plus assortment packs, the Leviton combination switch and receptacle, the DeWalt DCF887 impact driver, the Weha 1000 volt insulated number 2 Xeno driver, the Volt Claw, the Hubble Bell one gang weatherproof box and box extension, the seal proof one gang extra duty weatherproof cover and the ideal circuit breaker finder set. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.